Welcome to Sap Collector 98 and today I'm going to show you my sensitive plant that is flowering. It's pretty cool. Uh, first of all, today I'm doing this on my phone, so it may not be the best quality. Just hold on there though for a second. Alright, so this is the sensitive plant. Those are the flowers right there and they're actually flowers everywhere on all the tips. On all the growth tips, there are flower buds everywhere. I don't know if you can see them or not, but those growth tips right there are loaded with the flower buds, and they look like that. They come out with a little cone-shaped thing like that right there, and then they turn into that. And the sensitive plant is really, really cool. When you touch it like this, it closes up, and then it it like goes downward so another example like that and sometimes a leaf will actually trigger another leaf to move as well so not only can you just touch one like if you touch it it'll slowly trigger them I don't know if you saw that but yes see I touched it maybe five seconds ago and then it moved down about five seconds later Wow, those leaves just closed up over there. Alright, back to the flowers. So the flowers, they feel like nothing, actually. You can barely even feel them. They're like powder, basically. Like, I don't know how to describe them. Like, powder puff, I don't know. I've heard that somewhere. But, like, very hard to describe. Just, you can hardly feel it. It's like tiny little hairs just rubbing up against you, you can hardly even feel it. But also on this plant, there are thorns. I don't know if you can see them. It's kind of hard to focus, especially with my phone. But there's little thorns right here. They don't hurt a lot, but they're kind of like um, thorns on like a raspberry or a rose. There's not too many, they just go come every now and then. But yes, this plant also produces a pod that has some seeds in it. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to successfully make that fruit or not. And then I'll try to maybe start some more plants if that does successfully fruit. Uh, it's maybe like a little like three inch pod. I don't know, like that big or so, three inches. I've never really seen them in real life, but they like they're kind of greenish and there's no meat inside them. Like my previous video, the ice cream bean, there is no meat inside the pot at all. It's just the seed. So thank you guys for uh, watching my video and I'll come back with another update if they actually fruit and produce pods. And then I'll show you guys a video on me sowing the seeds and having an update later on in the end with those tiny little Mimosa pudica plants that come up. That's the uh, Latin scientific name for the plants. So thank you guys, and I'll come back with another update soon.